Hello, Madeline. I've got another story for you today. This one's called Ox Cart Man. Mommy knows this story. We used to listen to this story on a TV show called Reading Rainbow. Hope you like it. It's a brand new book, so it's hard to get the pages open. This book is by Donald Hall. It takes place many years ago in olden times. In October, he backed his ox into his cart, and he and his family filled it up with everything they made or grew all year long that was left over. See, this is how they get around with their ox cart. He packed a bag of wool he sheared from the sheep in April. He packed a shawl his wife wove on a loom from yarn spun at the spinning wheel from ship, sheep sheared in April. He packed five pair of mittens his daughter knit from yarn spun at the spinning wheel from the sheep sheared in April. And I guess these are the sheep sheared in April. He packed candles the family made. He packed linen made from flax they grew. He packed shingles he split himself. He packed birch brooms his son carved with a borrowed kitchen knife. Here's a little boy with the brooms. And this ox is going to pull all this in the cart. He packed potatoes they dug from their garden. But first, he counted out potatoes enough to eat all winter and potatoes for seed next spring. He packed a barrel of apples, honey, and honeycombs, turnips and cabbages, a wooden box of maple sugar from the maples they tapped in March when they boiled and boiled and boiled the sap away. He packed a bag of goose feathers that his children collected from the barnyard geese. This is a family of farmers many years ago. When his cart was full, he waved goodbye to his wife, his daughter, and his son, and he walked at his ox's head 10 days over hills, through valleys, by streams, past farms and villages. Here he is on his journey, the ox cart man until he came to Portsmouth and Portsmouth Market. Now he's in the town. Almost looks like a city compared to where he lived, right? He sold the bag of wool. He sold the shawl his wife made. He sold five pair of mittens. He sold candles and shingles. He sold birch brooms. He sold potatoes. He sold apples. He sold honey and honeycombs, turnips and cabbages. He sold maple sugar, and he sold a bag of goose feathers. There's all the people at the market excited to buy his things. Then he sold the wooden box he carried the maple sugar in. Then he sold the barrel he carried the apples in. Then he sold the bag he carried the potatoes in. Then he sold his ox cart. There is his ox cart. Then he sold his ox and kissed him goodbye on his nose. Then he sold his ox's yoke and harness. With his pockets full of coins, he walked through Portsmouth Market. He bought an iron kettle to hang over the fire at home. And for his daughter, he bought an embroidery needle that came from a boat in the harbor that had sailed all the way from England. And for his son, he bought a barlow knife for carving birch brooms. And for the whole family, he bought two pounds of wintergreen peppermint candies. He's stocking up on the things the family wants and needs, right? Then he walked home with the needle and the knife 
and the wintergreen peppermint candies tucked into the kettle, and a stick over his shoulder stuck through the kettle's handle and coins still in his pockets. He had money left over from the things he sold. He walked past farms and villages, over hills, through valleys, by streams, until he came to his farm, and his son, his daughter, and his wife were waiting for him. See, it's becoming nightfall, it's getting dark. There's the ox cart man. Can you see him? Right on this page. See? That's where he's walking through the villages. His daughter took her needle and began stitching. And his son took his Barlow knife and began whittling. And they cooked dinner in their new kettle. And afterward, everyone ate a wintergreen peppermint candy. And that night, the ox cart man sat in front of his fire, stitching new harnesses for the young ox in the barn. Look it. They have a fire just like you guys do, except mom doesn't have to cook over the fire. Daddy just builds it so it's comfy for you, right? And he carved a new yoke and sawed planks for a new cart and split shingles all winter. Oh, looks cold. Look outside. They're in the barn where it's warm. And if you look over here, that must be the young ox. He isn't quite old enough to take him on a journey yet, but he's growing. While his wife made flax into linen all winter, and his daughter embroidered linen all winter, and his son carved Indian brooms from birch all winter, and everybody in the family made candles. I would say this is quite a busy family. And in March, they tapped the sugar maple trees and boiled the sap down. There's certain kind of trees called sugar maples where you get maple syrup and sugar from. Mm -hmm. Not the kind of trees that we have in our backyards. But that's what they're doing right here. And in April, they sheared the sheep and they spun yarn and wove and knitted. I think you've seen sheep being sheared before, right? I think I was with you when we saw it sometime. They grow those nice woolly coats and then you get to take it off and make beautiful wool sweaters and blankets. And in May, they planted potatoes, turnips, and cabbages while apple blossoms bloomed and fell, while bees woke up starting to make new honey. Look, their farm has come alive with color in the spring. Look at that. And geese squawked in the barnyard, dropping feathers as soft as clouds. There's the geese. Now, do you remember in the beginning of the book, the um, son and daughter collected the goose feathers and the ox cart man sold them. That was his job. He didn't go to work like daddy. He was a farmer, an old fashioned farmer. And he stayed on his farm and they made all of the things that they sold. And then he put them in the cart. His ox carry helped carry the cart and they sold the things. And then they'd work all winter to make more things. Hard life, huh? But it's an old fashioned story. I hope you like the ox cart, man. I liked reading it to you, Madeline. Bye.